Hello. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm here to talk about sex. Who likes to hear about it? Everybody. Everybody likes to hear about sex. Not only because we are curious. Curiosity did not kill the cat, by the way. <laughs> it kept the cat learning. That's right. The other reason that we all want to talk about sex is because it's not very much talked about without some sh sort of shame being attached. Am I right or am I right? I am right. Sex is incredibly healing. It's, inc it's healing to our minds and our bodies and our spirit. That's right. <clears throat> Did you know that it reduces the risk of heart disease and heart attack? It releases endorphins. Um, I wrote a little list here because I have a lot to say about sex. I'm sure most of you do. <laughs> but not everybody's talking about it that much, right? It's more its more effective than sleeping pills and antidepressants. I used to teach um, about this stuff and I think it was something like, it's like a hundred and something times more, more potent to have orgasms than to take sleeping pills and antidepressants. It helps us look and feel younger. It improves our immune and circulatory systems. It also clears our energetic junk. All right, it's a good way to filter out um, like certain emotions. If you're having a hard time, like having um, like an outlet for your emotional junk, like if you're feeling kind of weighed down and stuff, just have some orgasms. It helps to clear that out. It really does. You know what else it does? It expands love. It releases, one of the chemicals that it releases is, is, is we call it the love hormones. So it, that's why it induces bonding between people and with yourself. All right, so if it expands love and God is love, what does that do? It connects us to the divine. God is there with us when we're having orgasms. Now, a lot of you might disagree with that. It's truth. For the most part, most of us have been taught to, to feel ashamed of things that are sexual. A lot of us have taught our children that their vagina is called their, their uh, nene, or, <laughs> you know, or uh, their penis is called their, their tally. It's a Okay, because the reason that, that we have done that over time is because it's shameful. It's, it's, we're teaching our children that it's shameful to say vagina. We're teaching our children that it's shameful to say penis. We're teaching our children that it's shameful to have sexual thoughts and feelings, but that's wrong. It's a part of our bodies. Sexuality creates life. It creates life. Now, what if we told what if we told our children that their wrist was shameful and their wrist is called a, a, a wah, and so they have to cover it up all the time because it's we should be we should cover it up because it's dirty it's something dirty. That's how silly it sounds. It sounds silly. Now, what if the reason that we feel so much all this um um what what is the reason one of the reasons why there is perversions and um crimes of uh, sexuality and things like that is because of the shame attached to it and that it's something that, that is considered taboo and it shouldn't be taboo what if what if the reason one of the reasons why they create those acts is because of the shame and the guilt and the perversion that's that's our, that's been attached to it by what we're saying and what we're teaching our kids and you know our kids are the are the future they're the leaders of our future do we really want the leaders of our future to teach us that and to teach others and our grandchildren and our and our our descendants that sexuality is bad when it's so incredibly healing and it helps to connect us to love more? I don't think so. I'm starting to believe that the whole agenda of um, oppressing sexuality and such 
was to cause us to not ascend and rise up. Now that's a heavy statement, but it's very much coming to my attention lately. Do you know that the clitoris has thousands of nerve endings on it? A lot. <laughs> For what? For pleasure. That is such a gift. It is a gift that we don't have to have. It's just like, it's just like food. We have to have food, but it doesn't have to taste delicious. Why is it so delicious? Because it's a gift for us to enjoy life. Because pleasure is healing for us. It raises our vibration. Raising your vibration is healing. Raising our vibration is rising higher. It's getting us in touch with the divine and the truth. It's healing us. It causes it causes us to create what's what's I call it a, I call it a pleasure portal. That's what I that's what I call it. You may have heard of um we can be bridges from heaven to earth. You know um women and women females used to be worshipped like as goddesses because we hold life within us and we we are we have wombs that bring heaven to earth through um our womb. And, and that's been so forgotten a lot amongst many, most, I believe. But I've noticed there is a movement towards um, truth now. And the truth is that sexuality is not, it should not be shameful. If you want to bring up the Bible and that kind of thing, which we're going to do. I know this is a touchy subject, but I'm going to do it for a second. Number one, those stories were written by humans. Now, humans have been known to err, and I'm not saying that they there was error there, but I am saying that we need to change our perspective about how all of that happened. So there's the Old Testament. The Old Testament is before Christ came. I like to read the Old Testament and to look at the Old Testament in contrast to the New Testament so that I can find gratitude that we don't have to live that way anymore. Because it changed, it completely changed the vibration of this place. So may we all be connected to Christ consciousness. May we feel encouraged to do that. And may we no longer feel shame. May we release all shame attached to sexuality, attached to our bodies. And release all those old beliefs that sex and sexuality is, is uh, something evil. Because it is not. It is not evil. May we release guilt. May we stop calling those who have sex whores and sluts. May that no longer be a part of any of our category or our, our vocabulary at all. We're human. This is supposed to be a gift to be able to exist here and to live a life on this beautiful planet. It can't be, we can't fully enjoy a gift if we're, if we're being, um, told that we can't actually enjoy it. <laughs> May we teach our children the, the truth about sexuality and that if they have consensual sex, it is healing and it is okay and it is also okay to love whoever they want to love. I love you guys. Bye.